Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Happy New Year. This is the first official sneaker pickup of 2024. Today we are going to be discussing and unboxing the Air Jordan 1 High. This is in the beautiful yellow ochre colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in be sure to hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings and styling segments today we are going to be discussing my first pickup of 2024 which is the air jordan one high yellow ochre color scheme so we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this really neutral tone sneaker then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market let's jump jump right into it. So we have finally started our drops for the month of January. And of course, what better than to go after an Air Jordan 1 high? If you are a fan of the silhouette, this may have crossed your path um, online. But as far as the color scheme goes, I was very impressed when I picked these up in store. Uh, so I was able to win these on a raffle. Uh, wasn't quite sure what materials it was going to have on it, but I am very impressed. They killed it with the tumbled leather here. And then we've got some very high quality Nubak for this yellow okra tone. I would say that this is more of a golden rod tone, almost more of a khaki in person. It actually, depending on what you wear it with, almost can veer more towards a lighter kind of khaki brown or a must mustard yellow tone. Uh, as far as the tongue goes, we've just got a simple nylon white tongue and then some more yellow accents under Underneath the Nike Air Swish Mark for the branding there. You do get an additional set of laces in white. So if you don't want the black tone, you can make it a bit more muted with the white combination as well. So let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. Wrapping around to the side paneling, again, just really high quality on that tumbled leather. I do have, it looks like a subtle little stain mark here. It looks like maybe the dye kind of leaked subtly on here, but probably can clean that up. It doesn't look too potent. Um, but again, I think that they really just did such a great job on the Nubuck material. Sometimes I feel like the Nubuck can be more on the cheaper end, but this is very nice. And then we've got a smooth textured leather for the swoosh mark. And then as we work our way to the back, we've got more of a tumbled leather for the heel and black leather. And then the lateral side has that same exact color blocking, except we've got the Air Jordan Wings logo in black. The interior is in black and that ochre yellow tone. And it's completed with this white and yellow ochre yellow uh, for the midsole and the outsole. As far as the box goes, I love that they did give us a box to match and complete the sneaker perfectly with this cream and nice ochre yellow tone and finish. All right, so let's take a look at those last and final details and jump into size and fit.
All right, so as far as size and fit goes, I definitely have been going half a size up in my Air Jordan 1 silhouettes, and I feel like they fit me perfectly. Again, I do have high arch narrow feet, so depending on your type of foot, definitely take that into consideration when deciding on what size range will work best for you. All right, so let's jump into styling. Uh, I clearly don't have a ton of yellow sneakers, actually, now that I'm looking at all the sneakers around me in my collection. Uh, I'm a bit hesitant with yellow. It has to be the right tone, but I will say if you are somebody who maybe isn't as huge or as big of a fan of pops of yellow tones, I feel like this is a great place to start because it's a bit more muted in its finish. It's almost more of a wheat tone or mustard kind of yellow, which really works well with khaki pieces. For the first look, I decided to keep it pretty simple with a nice yellow puffer coat and then some nice black wide leg pants to kind of complete the finish of the sneaker color blocking. next look, I decided to keep it a little bit more muted with some nice, just simple khaki cargo pants. I think that cargo pants will work so well with this as well as a nice button down denim jacket, but in a nice kind of muted yellow tone to really match the yellow hues of the sneaker itself. And final look, kept it pretty cozy and casual with this nice, just simple hooded sweatshirt, which kind of has a nice complimentary yellow tone to it. And then for the bottoms, I wore just some wide leg uh, cream beige toned pants. <laughs> Just sniff blow. Go ahead and be a freak, baby. You can tip low. It's just you and me. Nobody even got to know. A pocket full of green and a blunt full of smoke. Gasoline in my lungs and throat. Better let me be. All right, so now let's jump into the resale market on these. So these retailed at $180 and they're currently actually still available. So again, if you're somebody who loves Air Jordan 1 silhouettes, you maybe thought about passing on these and weren't sure about the yellow finish or the material and quality on these, I will say that I'm very impressed with this one out the gate. I think that Jordan really killed it with the materials. It is very high quality from the new buck to the pebbled leather that you see. And again, you do get some nice subtle tease as far as it goes, such as an additional pair of laces and a great complimentary box to pair with the sneakers themselves. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shade TV. We'll catch you all on the next one. Coming down clean, nigga, feeling so mean. You know I'm right. Coming down with the pretty, pretty pain.